I'm one of the world's most traveled people, and I'm ranked number one on most traveled people. I travel every imaginable way. I am always looking out for discoveries. And discoveries can be anything. Something big, something small, something unique, something common, but, but is interesting. Uh, many people have heard of Mutiny on the Bounty and they've heard of Pitcairn Island. Well, I've been to Pitcairn, but I've also been to the other three islands. There's actually four islands in the Pitcairn group. <laughs> so hard, and three of them are uninhabited. Pitcairn itself has about 50, maybe 55 people. And it's, it's an utterly fascinating place. And now two other very interesting remote islands, uh, one everybody has heard of, Easter Island. I've been there twice. One place that most people haven't heard of is Socotra. And Socotra is an island off the coast of Yemen. So what's famous about Socotra? Dragon blood trees. They're just an incredible tree. It's, this is the only place they grow. Uh, many of them are like 300 years old. They're not reproducing. been to Somalia twice. This is a dangerous country. Uh, my travel agent refused to help me. He was convinced I would get uh, kidnapped. This turned out to be an absolutely fantastic place to visit. I've been to a lot of dangerous places. I would say probably the most common danger in developing countries are the highways. You know, there are a lot of accidents. I'll be down to 30-something on most traveled people, and nobody will ever complete that list. It's too difficult. You need to know history. You need to be intellectually curious. Uh, you need to like to meet people. And you have to be willing to suffer. <laughs> if you want to get up, when you want to get up, Forget it. If you, if you value your own convenience, forget it. <laughs> and here's the key point that separates the extreme traveler from the average traveler. The average traveler, and, and this makes a lot of sense, you want to go to the places you've always heard about, but the extreme traveler, we get to the point we want to see every place, not just the good places, not just the bad places, all the in-between cases. But there are many great places out there to visit, including places that may not you know, seem attractive. To the extent that you're interested in things and people and ideas and history and you like exploring, then extreme travel is for you.